Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a joystick prototype using Quantum. We'll be using two regular joysticks, a button and a bunch of jumper wires to connect everything on a breadboard. At the end of this video I'm going to show you how to use the joystick to control the Mechanum car. The link for the Mechanum car project can be found in the video description down below. Before we start making, please visit our website quantumintegrate.com, click support in the top menu, then click projects on the next page, scroll down and click open projects, and finally select joystick prototype. On this page you will find all the related information for this project like schematics, app and firmware files and much more. Let's have a look at a couple of hardware components. I have two joysticks, a button, a breadboard and a couple male-to-male -male as well as male-to-female wires. All of these components are part of our starter kit, except the second joystick. You can find the link for the starter kit in the description below. Please also refer to the things used in this project section on the documentation page of this project for an in-depth overview of all the hardware components and tools used, as well as information on where to get them. I will now follow the fritzing to build the prototype. That was easy. Next, let's connect our builder base with the queue server. First, make sure your builder base is powered and is either already connected to the queue server or is ready for pairing. Let's navigate to the clients tab and pair our builder base that is wired to the joystick prototype, then give it a name and location. Next, we have to prepare the firmware file. Navigate to the firmware page using the firmware icon in the menu on the left side of your screen. You can click import and use the firmware file that we are providing on the project page or click create new. For now, let's create a new firmware file together. Name it joystick FW and then click create. Next, let's add some hardware to our firmware file. We will add two joysticks and a button. Let's start by configuring the left joystick. We have three services that need to be configured. We start with the X axis, then the Y axis, and last but not least, the button. Let's start with the first service. For the driver, select GPIO. Next, select GP1 as your pin. For the granularity, type in 50. Continue configuring the next service by clicking the white arrow, which is facing to the right. Let's configure the Y-axis with the exact same parameters, but exchange the pin with GP0. The last service we have to configure is the button service. Select GPIO for the driver. Select GP2 as the pin. Turn on debouncing and select input pulldown as the pin mode. Now all you need to do is repeat this step for the right joystick. You will need to use GP4 for your X-axis GP3 for your Y axis and GP5 for the button. The last step is to configure the separate button. For driver, select GPIO. We are using GP6 as you can also see in the fritzing file. Enable debouncing and select input pulldown for the pin mode. Congratulations, you finished creating the firmware file for the joystick prototype. Now all you have to do is upload it to the builder base.
Let's continue by building the application file for the joystick prototype. Navigate to the app page using the app icon in the toolbar on the left side of your screen. You can either click Create New and follow the step-by-step -step description on the project page, or click Import and upload the application file that we are providing on the project page as well. First, let's revise the general structure of the app together. Looking at the canvas from a high level, you will notice that we have a lot of blue hardware objects on the left. These are essentially our two joysticks and a single button. Next to the blue hardware objects, we have a couple green interface objects. These are used to provide a dashboard for this app and demonstrate the various values being sent from the joystick to the server. Once you are happy with your app, click the Save button and then return to your apps. Next, click the Play button next to the application name which will open the application mapping. For each hardware object, select the builder base with the corresponding hardware. Once you are done, hit the Save and Run button. You are now ready to use the joystick prototype. Have fun using it with your next project. We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.